Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this beautiful 2020 Ram 1500. This one is just a fairly standard Bighorn model. As you can see outside, this one's finished off in a beautiful metallic silver exterior. As you can see, your chrome 1500 badges, and then your Ram badge down below. Otherwise, though, outside, you do have tinted rear privacy glass on this one, your black mirrors, but you do have your turn signal indicators built in with your RAM badge. And this one is equipped with blind spot mirrors, as they are heated and auto dimming. Your body colored door handles with some chrome accenting built in. Same goes on the rear, and then your fuel cap built in on the driver's side. Just walk up and press to release it is a capless system. Overall, just a beautiful truck inside and out. This is the first one of the new body style Rams I've actually been around. Inside, you can see this one does have a spray in bed liner. Your trailer hitch, as well as dual exhaust down below. Chrome bumper, of course. And I will admit too, this one hasn't even been cleaned yet. This is how clean this one came into us. Back here is riding on Bridgestone Dueler HL tires. They are... 275, 55, R20s, so 20-inch 20 chrome wheels, rear disc brakes, and obviously, too, I mean, this is still a brand new truck, but super clean, rust-free southern truck. Everything follows through on this side. It's, again, your 1500 badge. And then up front, halogen headlights, fog lights down below, and then your Ram badge in the grill. Is equipped with remote start, just make sure it's locked. Press twice. And just like that, it will start up. We'll go ahead, step inside, cut it off. And inside, this one is just equipped with the gray cloth interior. But once again, in super nice condition. Just very clean inside and out. You can see your all weather floor mats down below and your full power driver's seat, power lumbar. And they're a they are cloth, but they're a very nice, comfortable material. Go ahead and step in. All I have to do to start, put on the brake, and press right there. Close the door. And once you're inside of this ram, just have the key fob in and you're good to go. You can see this one does have a very nice leather-wrapped steering wheel. Nice and light power steering as well. On the wheel itself, you do have your cruise control over here. Manual shift mode down below, and then controls for your center display over here. Bluetooth phone controls, and then typical Chrysler, your audio system controls are on the back of the wheel. Up top on the door, it's all padded material. You have some faux wood grain, some cloth, as well as some painted trim. But all very nice, I mean, and super high quality compared to the old Rams. All of your power windows, front two are automatic. Power folding mirrors. Press again, they will go back out. And power lock controls down here. Storage, as well as more storage up top. Through here, your headlight controls, they are automatic, as well as your fog, and then your bed light controls. Electronic parking brake, and then your power pedal adjustments. Gauge shimmer, and then up top, the dashboard itself. Otherwise, pretty rugged material, but for what it is, I mean, everything is put together super well. Wiper controls, obviously, and then you can see your gauges. Your engine temperature, tachometer, battery voltometer, oil pressure, and then your speedometer and fuel gauge. And like I said, this display, you can bring up all kinds of different settings, your audio system, things like that. Your engine start stop right there. And then right here is the shifter for your nine speed auto. This one is equipped with, and like I said, manual mode right there. Reverse, this one is equipped with a rear backup camera. And then obviously all of your four wheel drive controls. In the middle, this is the smaller screen, which honestly I like. Way cleaner looking, just way more normal looking for the inside of a truck. And it's still super easy to use. This is your typical Uconnect. So if your media, phone, different apps, things like that, your mirror dimmer, backup camera, you can bring all of that up. Compass, different settings. And then going back to the radio, this one is just the standard audio system, but it sounds fantastic. Satellite radio, AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth audio streaming, auxiliary in, USB, everything you'd expect. Down below, single zone, manual climate control, where you want the air coming from, fan speed, and then your temperature right there. Trailer brake control down below, as well as your traction control on and off, and tow haul mode on and off. 
two uh, USB ports down here and then two USB-C ports above there. Well, some more storage, perfect place to like put a phone or something. This can actually move back and forth. You have a super deep compartment down there. And then I said this is a good place for your phone. I didn't even notice. You actually have built-in phone holders down there. Plenty more storage. It's all rubberized too, easy to clean up. Storage back here, chain slot, and then cup holders. So it's inside of here. You get even more storage, USB port. And then all of that can flip up and out of the way. Very, very nice. Padded stitched leather cover in the middle, of course, and then two cup holders back there. Seats, incredibly comfortable, like I said. They're cloth, but they're an insanely nice material. Up top, auto dimming review mirror. Up here, you have your rear window controls. You can open and close that. All of your interior lighting controls, everything else. And then your sunglasses container right there. Also did forget to show your garage home link and then your Bluetooth microphones. Visor, vanity mirror, and that will slide to the side and extend. I mean, really, like I said, compared to the old Rams, this is a fantastic place to be. Driver's side window down. Make sure everything is unlocked. And pop the hood. Pop the hood right there. Stepping into the rear seat on this one, as you can see, everything follows through material quality wise. You even have the faux wood grain back here. But stepping in, obviously this is the smaller cab. You can lift the seats up and out of the way and use it for storage, which is what I imagine most people buying this configuration would do. But stepping in, I'm six foot two and I mean, it ain't a limo, but I can fit back here. <laughs> do kind of have to straddle the seat a little bit. But otherwise, air vents in the center, power outlets, storage, all of that. I mean, this is a back seat you can use. It may not be the most comfortable place in the world, but armrests, two cup holders, all of that. It's the same, just really nice cloth back here. Back seat pockets on each side as well. And like I said, ignore some of the dog hair. This literally is how we got it. Our cleanup has not even touched it yet. I just wanted to get a video because I know this one won't be around for long. Inside of the bed, of course, like most new pickup trucks, it is a soft opening tailgate, which is very nice, and it is an electronic release as well. This one does look to have a spray-in bed liner, which was very nicely done. And honestly, it's in great shape too. These just look like someone was walking around back here. These are just footprints, so. Someone really did not use this thing and beat it up, which is nice. Also, too, this tailgate, super light. I mean, look at the way I can throw it up and down with a camera in my other hand. Everything follows through over here. All weather floor mats, storage, all of that. Over here, everything follows through. Manual passenger seat, all of that. Inside of here, you have the storage compartment behind there. Kinda hidden, I guess. And then down below, of course, in the glove box, this one has all of the owner's literature still in the plastic, as well as, I guess this is uh, probably some towing-related stuff. Over here as well, another little storage pocket. go ahead cut the headlights on headlights as well as the fog lights and up front you can see halogen headlights fog lights down below and then under the hood on this one is equipped with the typical Hemi 5.7 liter V8 as I mentioned this one has not been clean yet but still nice and clean everything's running excellent a beautiful truck. I mean, this may not be the most highest optioned one out there, but someone definitely did care about this thing. Go ahead, driver's side window back up. 
Cut it off. Move the key. And headlights back in auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.